this journey for us was more than just this year. It's all, it started three years ago when these kids were nine and 10 year olds and we, uh, we participated as All-Stars then. We won the state and we went to Rhode Island to participate in the New England Regionals as nine and 10 year olds. Now as 11 and 12 year olds, they got to go on the big stage. They went and participated in Bristol in the New England tournament and they were on ESPN, on TV, on SportsCenter. I mean, these kids watch that, they, they watch the major leaguers, now they're the big show. And one of the big things we, we uh, kind of tried to get across to the, the, the team was, um, you know, there's no I in team. It takes, it takes all 12 members of that team to be successful. They really bought into that and they, they knew that that was, how it was what, what it was going to take to, to win and to, to reach their goals. And they wouldn't let each other get down. If somebody got down, they were right on them. No, you can't be down. Come on, we're gonna pick you up. We're, we're going to do this. It's okay, you gave up some runs. You made an error. It's all right, I got your back. I'm, I'm gonna make sure that we're successful as a team. And even in the games that we lost, they never got down. They're like, we were right there. We, were, we almost had it. Uh, you know, one hit away, one play away, we're gonna get it, but we're gonna get the next game. And they were good as individuals, but they knew they were so much better as a team. And that was a big part of it. And uh, that's a lot of it they can see not only playing team sports, but being part of the military. You, you can't do everything by yourself. You need to work as a team. That's definitely a lesson that we were able to, for me personally, I was able to bring from my military experience and you know, life experiences to them and to see them be successful with it. The biggest thing that I get back is to really, to see the, um, the enjoyment that these kids get out of playing this game, to be part of that team and to really be able to, to be part of their journey to go to the New England Regionals and to, to have them participate against teams from other states and to be on ESPN and, and be rock stars for a week. I mean, their life was baseball and, and they were the they were the main show. to kind of guide them along the way, to, to help to organize them into a really good team, and then let them to just go and, and see how all their hard work has kind of paid off for them. To me, that's the biggest enjoyment right there, is to, to provide that to, the, to those kids. You know, baseball is an easy one for me. I, I, I love the game, I played it for a number of years, and so to be able to come back out and uh, participate and kind of um, give people some, some of the knowledge that I have on the game, it's very gratifying to be out there and, and really be a good representative of, of what the Vermont Air National Guard has to offer. As well, it's, uh, it's trying to be a real good role model, to learn some things about uh, some structure and some hard work and some discipline and to, to see how far that can take you. And, and you know, fortunately for this group, it was able to take them quite a long ways. It was just really great to be a part of their journey and to see how much enjoyment they had of that, out of that. And uh, when it was all said and done, there was a lot of tears because you never prepare for losing. The the boys were had worked so hard and to see it come to an end. But uh, when it was all done, my son just gave me a big hug and said, "Thanks, Dad. Thanks for being part of that." And you know, you can't beat that right there.